Welcome to Android Dialogues, where we have bite-sized conversations with people from the Android community. I'm Chuki Chen, and today we're chatting with Kristen Marsicano. Hey, Kristen. Hi, Chuki. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Great. Um, where are you based, and what do you do? I am based in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm an Android instructor, uh, developer, and author at Big Nerd Ranch. Cool. Yeah. And in case you haven't noticed, Kristen here is for 360 NDEV. Yes, I'm so excited. Yay. <laughs> so Kristen's going to give a talk tomorrow, actually, about the activity life cycle. So I we am. thought maybe we'll chat a little bit about that. I would love to. So let's get the big question out. Okay. What is this life cycle thing and why do we care about it? So the activity life cycle really is one of the most fundamental things that people should learn when they're learning Android. Mm -hmm. um, ultimately, an activity to your user is your app. An activity right. is essentially uh, equates with the screen, screen the user's interacting with. Mm -hmm. um, but ultimately, this activity is living in this operating system and being subjected to what the user is doing. And at runtime, you have little control over what's actually happening to it. Okay. So the life cycle refers to these different states that the activity can be in, which really, um, each of the states represents whether or not um, the activity instance is live in memory, which is important because if you have you know, things like member variables storing account or whatever, um, you want that in memory so you can mm. reflect in the UI. Um, also, state um, is important because it relates to whether or not the user can actually see oh, your activity. Yeah. And then uh, finally, whether or not the activity is in the foreground, meaning is it does it have the user focused? Is it actively accepting input? And so what will happen is as the user does things like launches your activity or presses home mm -hmm. or launches another activity, uh, your activity will move between these different states. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I know there is on create, on start, on resume, on pause, on stop, on destroy, right? So those are the big ones? Uh, yeah, those are the big ones. I think you got them all. Um, so for the longest time, I think on create to me is pretty clear. On create is basically in the beginning there is nothing and then things right. is created. <laughs> right. um, but then like on start and on resume to uh -huh. me it kind of sounds like the same thing. So what's the difference? So let me kind of walk you through a simple yeah. example. I think that might help. So yes. when you launch your activity. Mm -hmm. or when you launch your app, rather. Right. Your activity gets created on your behalf by mm -hmm. the operating system. And so once the instance is created, uh, it calls on create. So that notifies, all right, I've got an instance, but now I move into the state where I've got an instance, but my activity is not visible on the screen. Okay. So then from there, on, uh, let me think, I just said on create, on start is yes. called. Yes. So that moves us into a state where the um, activity can be seen on the screen, it's visible, but right. and, and maybe it's partially visible, it depends on the situation, but and um, building up, you can see the activity in the screen, but it's not in the foreground. So it is not the main activity running where people are interacting with it. Hmm. So finally, on resume is called um, to Finally, move the activity and notify you your activity instance that now it is in the foreground and people can type things yes. and they can scroll uh -huh. and they can do stuff to it. And this starts to matter when you think about things like um, when you think about like video playback, for instance. Oh, right. Okay. So I've got an activity; it's playing video. Mm -hmm. Right now, when on pause is called, that moves me out of the foreground. Okay. Um, and uh, it moves me, let's see, if I'm running and I'm pause is called, it moves me out of the foreground, mm -hmm. but I might still be partially visible. Right, so should the video still be going right. or not? When is paused and video paused in your activity? Right, that it sounds depends. like the thing to do, right? <laughs> mm, sounds the same word. It depends, right? So one thing I think about, like I've, I worked on an app that had to play video, mm -hmm. and there was this notion of, uh, a full screen overlay and activity that you could launch from your oh. video player activity to configure things and it was transparent semi-transparent oh. so you could still see the video behind it right right so um, ultimately the video needed to keep playing with and the sound full blast going mm -hmm. Yeah. While you are like trying to yes. change like your settings. While you're working on another activity and so you have to think about really you need to understand um, the life cycle, what those states mean, what callbacks will be called to move you into those states. Right. But more importantly, it's sort of a marriage of like, what are the requirements of your application? Mm. Um, you know, what do you want your activity be, to be doing in relation to what the user is seeing or doing? So I'd like to spend a little bit more time on yeah. that case when sure. you have an overlay, sure. because I feel like most of us, when we think about apps, we think of all or nothing, right? Either mm -hmm. my app is taking up the whole screen mm -hmm. or it's not, or mm -hmm. not the app, like the activity. Yeah, sure. But you're, you're, so what you're saying is mm -hmm. that my activity, let's call it video activity, sure. is 
there, and then there's a config activity that comes on top mm -hmm. of me, but be transparent. It's transparent, or maybe it's themed as a dialogue. dialogue. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, that's a thing you can do. You can do that. Yeah, which is very <laughs> tricky because it's very confusing. Um, so somehow there is another activity that is taking focus. Yes. And yet you are still visible. So that's exactly. the case where you really need to distinguish between yes, absolutely. the um, resumed mm -hmm. and the uh, started yep. states. Interesting. And Sorry. Yeah. No, I was just thinking because, like, you know, there are a lot of situations where, for example, you know, if I'm registering, say, like a broadcast receiver, mm -hmm. like, do I do the in on start or do I do it in on resume? Right. So again, I guess the the question is whether I should be listening already right. when I'm not in focus yet and exactly. be visible. So I mean, I guess everybody is like, I want like one super bullet that answers all my questions. Like always, that do was it in me. On start. Yeah. And when I first started, yeah. like I would just ask, tell me yes, where. I want like a formula. Right. You know, I want to know. Okay, on create, on start, on resume. All of these things. Tell me exactly what should go in there. Like what scenarios. But right. it's not. It's not really that straightforward. It just requires a little bit of reasoning. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess right now things get a little bit more complicated because we have multi-window. We do have multi-window. Yeah, so like the notion <laughs> of being visible and having focus kind of, well, I mean, the good thing is that we already have those notions. So we right. can just, if your app is taking those notions already mm -hmm. and doing the right thing, it should just work TM. Uh -huh. um, but I think it, it, it's worth spending a little bit more thought on like, what does it mean in that world when we have multi-window, meaning that there are two activities side by sure. side. Um, so in that case, what does it mean for it to move into, like from on create to on sure. start and on pause, like not on pause, on resume? Yeah. So the big rule number one is to remember that always, there can only ever be one activity running, like in that resumed foreground state oh. at a time. Only one. Even if I can fully see everything in that pane. Hence multi-window, correct. Yeah. So um, ultimately what will happen, so so let's say I've got, you know, like a map and maybe Chrome, mm -hmm. right? And so I'm interacting with the map. It's running in the foreground. Right. So that means that my uh, other activity, Chrome, I can see it, but it's not in the foreground. So it is paused. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, no. I'm gonna pause so that you can think about what it is. Oh, I should have given you a little more time. Yeah, yes. I know. It is paused. Yeah. Okay. Um, but but how it moves through those callbacks really depends on what state it started in. Mm. So it's never, for the most part, it will never just skip over a state. They always oh, go in this order okay. from you know non-existent um, to stopped to paused to running. Okay. Or what we're calling resumed. Right. Um, and you know there are scenarios which I don't know if I should go to, but <laughs> where your process can get killed and things can actually, when they're stopped, can get destroyed oh. without on destroy ever being called. They can just get wiped away. Right. But for the most part, you'll never skip states. It's going to go, if I, you know, if in the video scenario, mm -hmm. my video activity is behind a transparent overlay, it's paused. Right. So when that transparent overlay goes away, my mm -hmm. activity comes back to running. Since it was paused, mm -hmm. it only has one hop to do. Right. It goes from paused to resumed. So just on resume is called. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, I guess you're trying to get us into like the, actually, this is all happy, happy until the system well. come in and decide that, <laughs> hello activity, we need some memory, so you gotta yes, go. Right. Um, so that is interesting because I feel like that's one thing that when the first time when I roll an Android mm -hmm. app is hello world and there's this on create function sure, and it has sure. this like, Safe, safe instance state mm -hmm. variable that I'm like, sure. yeah, whatever. Ignore I, it. Like, I, I don't need to do anything. I just need to like set the content view and find my little text view and set right. hello to it. Um, but it sounds like that's actually important, especially in the scenario when the system come along and say, sorry to tell you, but we got to kill you. <laughs> um, so what happens in that case? Like cause when on create is called, when is on create called with that variable saved actually filled in state. for you. Yeah. So yeah, saved instant state. What's great is all right, this operating system can destroy your process and your Because the phone away. doesn't have much memory. So yes. it can't just keep everybody alive forever. Right. But there is um, a mechanism put in place called mm -hmm. on saved instant state. It's another callback method, just like on create and on resume. On so it gets called state. on okay. your activity by the operating system. It does it pretty aggressively. Mm -hmm. um, so essentially anytime the user would expect their activity instance to live on, um, it gets called. So what I mean is like if the user presses home, right? Oh. That says, I'm not really done doing what I'm doing with this activity, I may come back. So on saved instant state will get called. Interesting. Um, let's so just let me save for work and then you may come back and yeah. we'll give it back to you. Yes. Okay. Um, you're switching tasks. I think even, um, you know, if you're launching another activity, it gets called. So Interesting. It, it gets called pretty aggressively. Um, 
you know, when it's so, moving out of the foreground. Yeah, when I press home, um, what happened, like, when I come back, like, do, does the app always go through on create all the stays, or it just jumps into one of those, like, callbacks that we, we've been talking about? So, if I've got my activity and I press home, mm -hmm. that means my instance still lives in memory, but it's not visible. Okay. So, yeah. it's stopped. Right. So, so it's just hanging out in the background. It's hanging out. It's living in memory. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so when the user goes mm -hmm. back to your application, it relaunches it, right. the activity is still in stop state. So it only has to move so, now from stopped to, uh, let's see, stopped to, to paused to running. Okay. Resumed. So it doesn't uh, go through create. Right. Okay. So you don't actually get handed back that safe instinct that the OS very handfully, right. helpfully like stash right. away for you. So um, under what situation then does that get used? So uh, let's say again I push home, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe I've got my example um, in for the talk tomorrow. So I've got a little ticker counter, you know, the little thing that bouncers use or you're using um, on the train. Right. Right. To count people, and so. Um, I've got my ticker and I've got a count. I press home and I've like ticked it 10,000 times. So I'm expecting my count better be there when right, I get back. Right, right. Um, and I go then and go play Pokemon Go. Which uh, is very resource intensive. Right. Yeah. So the operating system says, whoa, no, like I need more resources and it's going to kill your process. Along with any activities that the are counts, living in the memory. The counts, the Yeah. So the count is gone. So now the activity instance was actually destroyed. The state was saved because on a saved instance state was called. There's Good. a little record that lives in the operating system. Uh -huh. So now the operating system is smart enough to know that you were expecting that same activity to be there. And so it will pull up the record. So it's an illusion that it's the same yeah, activity. So because it's new, it's brand new. Yes. Except this is what happened last time. And then the activity is like, okay, okay, yes. I'll just like put that back into like this. Yeah. It's like, you know, you, you have a party when your parents are on vacation and then you try <laughs> to the house that. and no. And then you come back and say, oh, let me just put it back into the original <laughs> state so that nobody knew that that ever happened. It's exactly right. Yes. Yep. Cool. Great. Well, um, we can talk a lot more about this, but I think we will just save this as a little teaser for her talk, which yes. will be online at some point and we'll link that to this video. Yes, please watch Great. it. Great. Yeah. <laughs> so, so fun talking to you, Kristen. Um, if people want to see what else you do, where mm -hmm. can they find you on the internet? Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, at Kristen Mars, K-R-I-S-T-I-N-M-A-R-S. -S. Great. And we'll put it oh, here. At Kristen Mars. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great. Thank this is you. so much fun. Yes, Good luck is. with your talk tomorrow. Oh, goodness. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.